Hey guys, welcome back to the Kara Tutoring YouTube channel. My name is TL and today I'm going to be covering how to answer some SAT math non-calculated questions. So let's get started. The first question gives us an expression and it's always useful to underline expressions or values that they give you just in case it'll come in handy later. So what we're trying to find the equivalent value of is this fraction. Now, with exponents, what we tend to look for is a common base. So let's see if we can find anything that breaks down into common bases. So looking at it, looking at the numerator, we see 8, which also breaks down to 2, 2, 2. So 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the third power. And now let's plug that in into the numerator. So 2 to the third to the power of x over 2 to the power of y. And what we could do with these exponents is just multiply them since anything, since the exponent to exponent, you could just multiply them. So 2, 3x over 2y. And now with a fraction, um, what we do is subtract the exponents, assuming that they have the common, uh, common base, which we do. So 2, 3x minus y. And now this is where we use the 3x minus y. 3x minus y is defined as 12 or equal to 12, and now we have the answer as 2 to the 12th power, or a. Now the sec second question asks us about common uh, complex fractions. Usually with complex fractions, what we do is look for a common denominator, and in this case it's going to be x plus 2 times x plus 3, since x plus 3 is not divisible by x plus 2, and nor is x plus 2 divisible by x plus 3. So that means we cannot put x plus 3 over x plus 2 and get get a whole, get anything with our remainder. So that's our least common denominator for now. And what we need to do is we need to change these fractions so that they have the least common denominator. And how we do that is just multiply the missing piece on the top and bottom. So let me, let me show you what that looks like. So if, if we have 1 over x plus 2. All we need is that x plus 3. So we need to multiply by x plus 3 on the top and bottom um, so that we get the common denominator. And that will look like this. And there is our common denominator right there. And let's do this for the other fraction. So if we multiply these two, we also get x plus 2, x plus 2 times x plus 3. And now all we need to do is just add them since the operation is addition. So 2x plus 5 over x plus 2, x plus 3. And that's all over 1. Okay. So now when we divide by a fraction like this, we just multiply by a reciprocal. So we have 1 over 1, because that's the numerator. And we have 2x plus 5 on the bottom, because if we flip it, 2x, if we flip the bottom fraction, 2x plus 5 will be on the bottom, and x plus 2 times x plus 3 will be on top. And that leaves us with x plus 2 times x plus 3 over 2x plus 5. And now, that's not an answer choice, so what we need to do is expand this. So through FOIL, what we get is x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 over 2x plus 5. And b is our answer. Now, the third one is asking us about complex numbers. And in this case, we have a fraction and a complex number on the bottom. So in this case, what we will need to do is multiply by the conjugate. So let me write this out. So basically the conjugate is the same number as the denominator, but what we're going to do now is we have to multiply by the same, the same terms, but different signs. So that'll look like eight minus two i and eight minus two i on the top and bottom. So if we multiply this, we'll get uh, let's do the bottom first actually. So 64 plus 16i 
minus 16 i minus 4 i squared and I got that through foiling so 8 times 8 uh, 8 times 8 times 2 i um, 8 minus 8 times negative 2 i and positive 2 i times negative 2 i and then let's do the foil on top so that'll be 24 minus 40 i minus 6 i and lastly plus 10 i squared so what we could do is cancel out terms so 16 negative 16 those cancel out um, and what we do with this i squared is we just replace it with negative 1 since i is equal to the square root of negative 1 so we square that if we square the square root that cancels out and we get negative 1 so it's going to be 24 minus 10 since uh, on the top since um, this addition sign will turn into a negative when we multiply by negative 1. So, and then we also have 64 plus 4 in terms of just the regular numbers, since the negative will turn to a positive when we multiply by a negative. Okay, so we have 24 minus 10 over 64 plus 4, which equals 14 over 68. And now let's do the same thing with these, with these i's. So we're going to have negative 46i over the same thing so 64 plus 4 and that's equal to negative 46i over 68 so so far what we have is 48 14 over 68 minus 46i over 68 and each of these can be divisible by 2 so let me just do that 7 34 minus 23i and 34 again. So now we can't divide it anymore since, uh, since 7 is not divisible by 2. So this is our answer choice. Okay, next one is asking us about manipulating variables in the equation. So what we're looking for is f. So if we're given this, One of the first steps we need to do is get f out of the denominator. So what we what we do is multiply n plus f by r. So so these two will cancel out, and we're left with r times n plus f is equal to f. And now we we must distribute. So r n is So what we're left with is Rn plus Rf is equal to F. And now we need to bring the Fs to one side. So Rn is equal to F minus Rf. And now here, what we could do is factor it out. So 1 minus Rf, 1 minus R, I mean, sorry. 1 minus R, because if you distribute this, you get F minus Rf. Rn on the other side. And now you just divide this over. 1, mi one minus R. 1 minus r. These cancel out and you're left with f is equal to rn 1 minus r and b is our final answer. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments below. Also if you want if you're interested in free tutoring by tutors just like me go on to our website in the description below and sign up or if you're interested in being a tutor for this program um, we also have links below. So that's all I have for today and bye.